this is going to be a quick video. The last video I showed how we can change reallocate the cross points for the switcher to be different than 1 to 10. It can be in any arrangement that you allocate and it also changes the names uh, on the multi viewers or it actually changes the allocations of the multi viewers. Here's, a, here's another trick that you can do with the terminal program. You notice how the uh, right-hand um, larger multi-viewer shows the program and the left one shows the preview. And as I change the inputs, you see the little red border changing the tally. It's all part of the ATM system. But here's a little trick you can do. If you come up to the terminal program and type in MM or multi view mode, it'll just come up and say multi view mode is one. But if I type in multi or MM2 and put it into multimedia mode two, multi view mode two, um, you probably wouldn't see, you won't notice anything happening here or up here. But what you will notice is the actual name on the program monitor. Is it now following whatever input you've selected? So there's black, for instance. It actually changes the name so that you can look at that program monitor, and it will tell you exactly what input is selected, as different to just showing um, ME1 program. Now over here, the same applies to the preview. I can um, select black. Um, there's bars. These are all the different sources that I have names for. And that name will change every time you change the input. You know, the sad thing is that the ATM can't quite uh, do it instantaneously, so you get that little delay flash. There, it takes about half a second for it to catch up. But it's um, good for in a normal operational mode to um, see that um, what your input is quickly by looking at your program monitor on the multi viewer. And of course, to put it back to normal, you just have to just focus it and just type in mm space one there you go who said i can't do fast videos